Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world of Wayne. It's Tuesday, we're going to tackle the infamous issue 29 of Panini Collection Centurias Build the Ferrari F40 Competizione. Now just for transparency, I have watched the video on the Centuria site, um, but I'm actually just going to try and refer to the instructions to actually see where the instructions don't make sense and uh, obviously this is going to be a complete car crash of a video I'm sure it is but let me show you what we got to do okay so as you can see here we've got loads of pipes now bearing in mind we did have loads of pipes left over from the previous stage looking just like that so I can see why this is going to get very confusing straight away and I'm guessing a lot of these things we're not even going to use but we'll see anyway but as you can see we're going to be putting lots and lots of pipe work in the engine now none of these are glued in I don't know whether I'm going to glue them in uh, just in case they start pinging off in all directions uh, but pretty much by the time we're finished I mean look at all of this it's just just looking at the pictures is like mesmerizing uh, <laughs> it does look impressive when it's finished but it's pretty much this whole magazine is the instructions so at the end the engine hopefully my engine will look like that i really do hope it does uh i think things start to get a little bit easier after that but obviously issue 29 so many people have said i'm a wimp for not even tackling this sooner but you know what i'm uh, i'm gonna do it now and we'll see how we get on with it um i think we're just gonna jump straight into it shall we so without further ado let's get cracking okay so let's take this a stage at a time this is what the engine is looking like at the moment and basically the first part we're going to be put on is called detail a and uh, I need a pointer what can I use to point uh, let's use my Archimedes drill we're going to be putting the first piece just on this lug here which is on this side of the engine so the first piece we need looks just like that it's in its own little bag and again they don't want glue on this they just want us to plug it in and bear in mind in this bag there are really two really tiny pieces as well so I'm going to put them to one side so I don't lose them because this is the bit that I want. Uh, basically, the black section of this is gonna be facing towards the gearbox of the engine. So I'm gonna just push this over the lug here of where it goes. And as you can see, when that's in, that piece is in just like that. Then we're gonna need the first of the pipes that come in this stage, in stage 29, that looks just like that. It's got one plug with two leads coming off of it. Now in the detail that we just put in there, this plug is going to be going in this direction in the first of the holes that we can see. It's actually just going to be going towards the alternator over here of the engine. And there we go, it's just pushed in. It is actually quite secure when that's in, but that's left two leads coming off of that. Now we don't do anything with those leads, we just got to keep them hanging down there. So this is where things are going to get confusing. In stage three, we need to go through the pipes. I'm going to leave these on the left-hand side of my workstation here because we need two pipes that we got in the last stage which look just like this. These are the ones with the silver ends on them. Uh, I believe this came in issue um, 28. It might, I can't remember, to be honest with you. Now we're going to need to gently turn the engine over so it looks like that. And they're basically going to go into the points on the bottom of the engine, these two points just here. So I'm going to put one in this side here, making sure that's in all the way. I'll have it going off in that sort of direction. And one just going into the other side here. And again, making sure that's in all the way. So far, so good. So it's looking just like that. Now the other end of these pipes here and here are going into the hole that we can see at the back of the turbos. We've got one this side and we've got one the other side. Again, if I show you on the close-up camera, this is the turbo, just the hole there. So, we put one in this side. And then the one on the other side here. It's a lot harder than it should have been, to be honest with you, but that's those two into the back of the turbos like that. Now we need some more pipes from parts 28. So I'm going to lay these out. We've got this one here. We've got a short one there. And then we've got a thin one looking just like that. And this is where it's handy having my ruler here. So the first pipe we're going to need is the medium size 80 mil one looking just like that. And that is just going to go into the hole underneath this section here. It's hard for me to show you, but I'm going to try you on the top camera. Just the hole there but look at the picture 
And all we're going to do is put it in this hole. It's not going to be glued. It's just going to stay there for a little while until we're ready to uh, connect it up elsewhere. So that's in like that. I'm putting quite a lot of the length in the engine because I don't want that falling out. So that's just standing up just like that. We now need the very shortest lead, the 65 mil one looking like that. That one is going to go into the hole in the middle of the engine. There's actually three holes on top. This one's going to go right in the center hole. And again, I'm just going to let that sit lower than it needs to be, but that's in there like that. So we've got two now. And then the last one, which is a really big uh, cable, the 85 mil one, is just going to go onto the end of this pipe here. So I'm just going to push that on, just like that. And there we go, that's those three pipes on. They haven't been connected at the moment, so they're all over the place. Now we've got this really tiny detail to put in place. So what I've done to get this in, I've actually taken off a part that we installed very early on in the stage. Basically, that's the end of the rocker head cover, the cylinder head cover here. I've just taken that off because I need to get to this part right here. Now the detail we're about to put in is just going to go into the hole that we can see just at the bottom of that. So I'm going to get my glasses on for this because uh, we're going to need to do some really close up work. As a matter of fact, you know what? It's probably best to actually just take that part out and put it in. Don't put it in on the engine because you'll, be, uh, you'll be there all day. And there we go, that's that part. It doesn't help that on the pictures, this part is actually silver, uh, but for us, it's black. But I'm just gonna put these back on now so I don't lose them. Now they can only go in one way. And then I'll put this other part in as well. And there we go. That's that small detail in place on there. Now this is where it gets confusing, I'm guessing. In stage nine, it says attach the cable in place using the silver colored plug. Well, obviously we haven't got any silver colored plugs free on this anymore. It doesn't tell us what cable. I've got nothing in my previous uh, cables that have got a silver plug on, which by the process of elimination means it must be one of these that come in this pack. But yes, very, very difficult to follow instructions. They could at least tell us which one it is. There's actually three silver end pipes. Two have got square openings and one has got a peg. I'm guessing it's the peg one because on the other side, we don't have a little detail to put in. We do have this, which will fit. So I'm gonna put this in the hole, just in this section. As a matter of fact, once again, if I take this part off, you can see the hole that this is gonna go in. So I'm gonna push this in here, just like that. So now the pipe's attached and I'll reattach the piece to the engine block. We don't need the engine at the moment. We can put that to one side because we now need these parts that we worked on oh, a long, long time ago. So the other two silver cables that we have with the square ends are just going to be going onto the end of the suction bases here. So there's a little lug on these. So I push one on this side, just like that. And we do exactly the same on the other side here. We're going to bring over the engine again, and these are going to be mounted on the top of the engine into these four holes each side. So we're going to be pinning them into position. Now, if I turn it round, this is the gearbox side. So the round pipe end here is going to be facing inwards towards the gearbox end. So I'm going to be pushing these in without trapping any wires here. And you know what? There is actually a danger of this cable coming off. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Just on the gold section here, I'm going to attach this cable just with a bit of glue there to keep that in place. So the first side of this is just going to go into these pegs here. We push that into position. So make sure they're seated perfectly in there, just like that. And that's the first one in. Do the same on the other side. And when they're in, they should look just like that. Look at how much pipe work there is. Oh my God. <laughs> now, the two cables that are coming from this section here, and they look just like that. They're just coming off the suction hoses here. They're just gonna go into the back of the cooling pipe. Now, the cooling pipe is just behind this gold detail here. And as you can see, we've got two little pins either side. So we're gonna plug them in now. So using my tweezers for this, This is the first one going in. And we do the same with the other one here. Just 
just like that. So as you can see, these two pipes on top here are now into the cooling pipe at the back. Now the other two ends of the suction pipe that we plugged into the bottom of these sections here are gonna go into the opposite holes either side of the filter here. So this one is gonna go in, it's probably best again to look at the instructions for this, but this one's gonna go into the hole that we can see in the engine just down there. So that's the first one in. Cross over and do the same on the other side into the hole in the engine there. Push it in as far as it goes because you don't want these falling out. And there we go. So let me just show you the piece that I've done there. It's basically this crossover section here is coming from the bottom of the suction hoses here, the ones with the silver ends. One into that side and then the other one going into that side into the holes that you can see in the engine just there. Now we need tube one, which comes from issue 25, looking just like this. And the longer end tube here is just gonna go into the lug that we can see just on top of the engine here. So I'll plug that one in first, bearing in mind that this one, the smaller one, is gonna go on the other side on the lug just here on the rocker cover. So let's install that in. Now in the picture, they've got this sort of going around the back of the filter. So what I'm gonna do is put it in first just on one side, keep rocking it till it's all the way in. I'm gonna sort of feed it under that part, just so I can get the second part in, which is going into the lug just here. Again, it's a rubbery material, so don't be afraid to bend it. But there we go, that one's in just like that so I've got those two pipes in it does look impressive I have to say and basically eventually the end of that is going to go into the hole that we can see just here so I'm going to have to route it round the engine till I've got that end in just like this and as you can see I have got this going underneath that's pretty much how they got it in the picture so from the top it goes from these two points here around the engine onto the bottom there now we need tube four which comes in this packet and it's in this issue and it looks just like that i'm going to put this to one side so we're going to be connecting this to the wastegate now the wastegate is one of the parts that we had in issue 25 so i'm going to get these parts out of here and unfortunately they omit to tell you how this goes together so uh, i'm going to put it together for you now basically put a little bit of glue just on the inside there you should have two sections one that looks like this one that looks like this uh, it has got a keyhole pattern so it can only go in one way that's going to go in just like that there and then in the hole that we got on the ends there we've got this detail here which is just going to be pushed into here matter of fact this last detail i don't think it's going to need any glue it's going to be quite a tight fit and there we go that's that detail completed. I don't think they told us how to do that, did they? So uh, we've done that now. They basically said that should look like that. We do need the pipe that I just referred to. And if that is the lug that's going up, we just need to turn it upside down and then plug this pipe in to this side just here. So that looks just like that. Now the ends of this, this end here and this end here are just gonna go onto the manifold pipes which go into the turbos. You'll see two holes for that either side. So I'll put these in now. One this side, and just one on the other side. So when that's in, it should look just like that. Now we're gonna be taking this section here, which looks just like that. It's gonna go over the top of all the pins that we've got in the top here. So I'm gonna line them up and put this in. Now for all of those keeping score, putting that manifold cover on here, this one just here, took almost an hour. So uh, trying to line up eight pins was a living nightmare. But it's in, as you can see. But oh my God, I don't want to repeat that again. I'm just hoping I don't have to go <laughs> underneath that engine and take it off again, because uh, I don't want to do that. Now we need tube A, which we had in issue 28, looking just like this. We can turn the vehicle over, and the long end of this is just going to go into the hole that we can see at the back of the engine, just here. So I'll push that in all the way so that it's in just like that. 
Then we need tube three, looking like this. This one just goes into the hole just underneath it, just there. So I'll put this in and then rotate it round. So there we go, that's that pipe in as well. Now they're saying to take tube G issue 28, which looks like that, but tube G doesn't look anything like that. It's this one, I'm guessing from issue 29, uh, because this one, this one doesn't actually fit on the end of the lug. Uh, so I'm going to use the one that comes in this issue, issue 29, because uh, this is just going on the end here. And that fits on perfectly there, like that. Now we need another pipe from this issue, pipe C, looking like this. Black pipe with a black plug on the end. Now again, we want to <laughs> delicately turn the vehicle upside down, because this one's just going into this output that we can just see just there. So I'm going to put that in now. And when that pipes in, it should look just like that. And then we've got a protective bellow, which came in this pack. Tiny piece looking like that. That's just going to go right at the end of the gearbox, just in the hole you can see at the top there. So I'm just going to push that in there. There we go. And that's in there. And then we're going to take tube two, which looks like this. This is from issue 25. The this end here is going to go into the bellows that we just put in there, but it's going to go through these holes in the engine. So we've got one, two, all the way down, and then insert it into the bellows, just like that. Turn the engine back over again. This piece keeps falling off, so I'm going to uh, just put a dab of glue just where this goes. That's not going to fall off again. <laughs> And then we're going to need these coil cables. Now these come in a pack, and as you can see, there's eight of them here. So I'm going to get one out and show you what we're going to be doing. So quite simply, we're going to be attaching one end onto the coil here. Probably best to use tweezers for this. I'm going to open the end up, actually, because it's hard to get them in. So what I do is I just push them onto my tweezers there. That opens it up a bit and then that'll be easy just to feed on to the coil just like that and then the other end is just going to go on one of these pins here just underneath the manifold we put in there so let's put that side in here I'm going to put my glasses on for this i think i'll just show you on the close-up that's what that looks like and that coil cable's in and we're going to repeat that onto the points on both sides of this manifold here. So I'll do that off camera, because this is gonna take a while and show you what that looks like. And there you go, that's one side. There's the other side there. The, uh, that is <laughs> looking pretty amazing. I can't believe how much of a, a spider's web that looks like. And obviously there's loads of leads still uh, all over the place at the moment. But that is all there is to do in that stage. Now I do have a couple of bits left over. I've got this one here, which looks like this one here, I have to say, but uh, it's not. So uh, I'm not quite sure where this one goes at this time and i've also got this big cable looking like that which again we don't have to do anything with at the moment so uh, i can just put that to one side as well now obviously in this pack let me just put this to one side <laughs> i want to show you some of the bits that we are still left over with from this pack we've got this piece here this piece here and this piece here as well among with all the stuff that we've got from all the other packs as well we're gonna to have to keep this safe but that does look really really impressive it's just a shame 
that I don't know where half of these leads are going to be going. So I'm hoping that uh, that's going to be coming in issue 30. But that is all there is to do in that pack. Now I've only installed all the leads that they've told me to do in these instructions. I might go back in the video just to see if some of these loose leads are meant to connect up somewhere, uh, but they don't actually tell us that in issue 29. Now, um, the instructions I said, when I did point out where there was some faults and where things didn't look right, um, especially that little pipe that we've got uh, in there that I don't know where that tiny one goes. I haven't got a clue at the moment, but I'm sure someone's going to tell me I missed it off and it should have been in years ago, but we'll find out. Anyway, that was a bit of a nightmare. The whole uh, filming time of this is just over two hours. Just putting those HT leads in took forever. <laughs> Anyway, look, it's done. Issue 29 is done. We're ready to do issue 30. I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.